Hello crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com and today I am here as part of the new Inzinook Designs May Flowers blog hop. We had this blog hop last year as just a sort of fun spring inspiration hop and we loved it so much that we decided to bring it back this year. So um, we will all be featuring some flower cards and I will leave a link in the video description to my blog post so you can hop along and see what else the other designers have created and hear about some prize opportunities and um, for today's card I decided to do something a little bit different rather than creating a really pretty floral look I decided to mix a, a bold pop of floral against a geometric background so I am starting with this scales stencil from stencil girl and two colors of Distress Ink. I have Black Soot and Hickory Smoke. The Hickory Smoke is a cool black ink, and I think that it blends out well with the Black Soot. However, you could probably do this same look with just the Black Soot. You probably don't need both colors, but I thought um, it would be better, since I had them both, to create a more clear fade. Because essentially what I want to do is have a really dark black corner and fade out to a much lighter gray. And at first I just sort of started dabbing the ink on because I wasn't sure how dark I wanted it to be. And if you blend the ink, I actually find that it gets a little bit darker through stencils because the ink that is normally would be left on the stencil from the dabbing motion starts getting pushed into the stencil. And so it creates a little bit darker of a look. But if you're going to be rubbing your blending tool over your stencil, be sure that you secure your paper and stencil down to your work surface. I usually tape my paper down, then I place my stencil on top and tape my stencil down as well. If you aren't as concerned with getting perfection, maybe you skip those steps. But for me personally, I just think it's easier to do that. And so now that I have this faded effect, I'm going to pop it on some black cardstock to really create a clear border for it and to bring out the blacks as there will be a lot of black and just one big bold pop of color. I decided to create a happy birthday card as I find that my stash of birthday cards is just never big enough. And so I took this birthday sentiment from a um, the Slow Down Friends. I, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but there's like one that has a whole bunch of animals, like the turtle and the sloth and... Um, it has like inching by to say hi and um, it's a really fun set but I'm really just taking this very small sentiment from it so I forgot to show it here on camera because I thought well I'm not really using the set so much as the sentiment but I basically just wanted a really small sentiment and I wanted to bring out that black and white from the background onto the sentiment strip so I'm doing some white embossing on a piece of black cardstock and be sure to use your powder bag as you don't want to get any little stray bits of white where they are not needed. Once I had my sentiment ready to go, I'm ready to stamp my flower. As I said before, I wanted it to be a really bold statement. So I chose the Hero Arts Neon Ink with the fade from purple to orange as those are all really bold colors and also pretty feminine to contrast with the geometric pattern. It was, this card was definitely all about contrast for me. Um, I was actually watching an episode of Project Runway while I was creating it and I find that to be really inspiring because they were doing like a fun mix of like how to combine different patterns and prints in clothes and um, we like to do that with card making so that's a fun show to watch while you are card making or to get some inspiration as well and I am just taking the neon ombre ink and placing it on my stamp then closing the misty door because the hero arts inks um, can be a little bit fussy to work with the ombres any ombre with michael's ones are too because you really want to get a nice full coverage i do find the misty to be a useful tool as you can stamp it down multiple times and really get a great impression and i even stamped two so that i could pick whichever one i thought turned out better then i just fussy cut out the fanciful florals flower because i wanted there to um, 
basically, um, rather than create a round look of the flower, I wanted to bring out the shape of the petals. So I went in and fussy cut in between all the different petals. You could, of course, cut it out round if they found that a little bit easier, but I kind of liked how it created those sharp edges around it. And then I'm just going to tape this all down flat to the card. And that is going to be it for my card today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are interested in more crafting tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Remember to follow along with the blog hop in the video description below so that you can get a lot more great inspiration and a chance to win. And then um, you can also check out my social media links or the products used in the video description. Thanks for watching. Bye.